tell people, so look, put together a risk register that identifies all the threats and opportunities. Mm -hmm. So now when you start seeing that this potential opportunity is going to happen, you've already got plans in place or strategies in place to respond to it and either make sure it happens or increase the chances of it happening or, you know, just hopefully it happens, right? Yeah. And so these are things that people completely ignore when they're starting a mm -hmm. business. They're only focused, if at all, on any of the risks, they're only focused on dealing with threats, which, you know, you can have one opportunity that will come one day and within two weeks you've eliminated half of your risks, half of your threats. Right. So, you know, you you cannot afford to to ignore your opportunities out there. Um, is is one of the things that I emphasize when starting these these companies and working with startups is setting goals and setting smart goals. We have this model that we use was called the call it's called the SMART model. Okay. And it stands for specific, measurable, okay. attainable, relevant, and time bound. Right. Right, so when identifying these items, we use this model to spell out everything. So specific means the goal is explicitly stated and spelled out exactly what it needs to do, specific. Mm -hmm. Measurable means I can, I can say, hey, I need to do this thing three times, or I need to buy six widgets A um, uh, to, to make it uh, measurable. You know, give it a number. How many of it that will you need? Attainable, this is where we get lost. Attainable is making it the effort, the goal, the project realistic. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen a lot of folks um, make projects not realistic, not attainable. So what I do is I, 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 I rein that back in a little bit. Like, hey, these, these are the things that you really can do. You have, you have six months and you got three people. All the stuff you plan is not going to happen. Right, so you gotta you gotta be careful with that attainable. Make it realistic, uh, it. relevant. What I mean by relevant, ensure that the goals, ensure that the the goals, the tasks, the work align with the objective. The project charter is what we say, or the initial scope. Right, whatever you're doing should align with the the initial goal. Mm -hmm. And the last one, time bound. Uh, you know, when you identify these goals, when you're being specific about these goals. Give it a due date. It needs a due date. Yep. Right? So that's that's an example of a smart model. And across all the industries that I worked on, uh, this is something that's pretty, pretty common. Um, another thing that's common amongst project management, I have a slide here called project management tools. Okay. Right? Here are the things that are common across everything. Schedule. Right? Timeline. Right? The cost. Um, you got to do time tracking. You, know, you got to you got to measure costs. Are you are you on budget, below budget, or above budget? You know, right. are you in red? Resource management. You know, your staffing. Uh, who's gonna Who's gonna do the work? You're gonna do the work. You're gonna hire someone to do the work. Are you gonna get some suppliers or subcontractors to do the work for you? Right. My, my man Rupert said this earlier. Identify risks and opportunities. Mm -hmm. This is very important. Risk and risks and opportunities, and he threw a third one out there, which is threats. Right. So uh, identify those earlier, early as early as you can, because typically they happen. And what this, what um, the risks and the opportunities um, with that registry, I use a heat map. Will allow you to do is to have a contingency plan and to pivot really quick. Yeah. Right, you already know what you're gonna do when something happens. Absolutely. And everyone else knows, right? And you may have put some money aside for it, right? You know, if it's an opportunity, you're waiting for these triggers, like boom, I was waiting on this, let's take advantage of this opportunity. Boom, we just right. save fifty thousand dollars. Yes. Right. And also Rupert, Rupert spoke to this is identify stakeholders. I specifically had a note that says, Who's the person with the money? You know, you're going to have a lot of people talking in your ear saying it needs to do this, it needs to do that. But the person with the money, that, that's the person, one of the most important stakeholders. Now, the person with the money may not be the user. So it's, you got to understand that. And in the DOD, some of the things that I've worked on, a lot of the projects i worked on in the past, the end user was not the person who was paying for the effort. So Stricom, or PEO Stride, these were the individuals that managed the money and bought the stuff. 
right? But the end user were the individuals in the army. Right. Right. So that happens a lot. Uh, any questions there? No, that this is very detailed. I, I took copious notes. Rupert, is there anything that you'd like to add to, to that, uh, setting the SMART goals and identifying your contingencies and your stakeholders? Uh, no, that's, that's right on the money. Uh, the, um, uh, I have a slightly different start, SMART methodology that I created, gosh, a long time ago. We share. Um, it was specific, measurable, accountable, realistic, and timely. So okay. it's uh, it's ninety percent of what what his is, and uh, but it's 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 basically all there, right? Yes. Um, well, talk about the accountable portion. Well, the accountabil the accountability part is like whenever you set aside a task or you have a task. Uh, that somebody needs to do. Mm -hmm. If somebody's not accountable for that task, it's not going to get done. Okay. So you have to make sure somebody's accountable for doing whatever. Whether it's, mm -hmm. you know, when you if you're dealing with your a threat or an opportunity, somebody has to be accountable to make sure that that risk is handled in the right way. So you know, it's it's uh, so that there's that. But yeah, everything he said. You know, we use a project charter for all our projects. You know, they have to sit there and say, okay, what are the objectives? What are the main, what are the core, uh, the core features of the game as the requirements? You know, who's going to be the project manager? What's the budget? How are we going to make money off of this and so forth? So, yeah, he's, he's right on the money on that. Um, and um, we use a, 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 like a mixture of waterfall and, and agile. So we have, we spend the first 20% of our schedule just doing nothing but planning. The project, and then we then we get to uh, we we get to benefit from the the other eighty percent of the schedule with a much higher efficiency and productivity and so forth because of that. Right. And um, so yeah, I, I, everything he said, um, thumbs up.